you see it's the right consistency because the paint is just starting to as soon as it's on, it's on the figure itself it starts to disappear and dry off and leave that great pigment colour there what we didn't do before was the nostrils so we do those now So again, you can now see it's changed again. So you've got nice, like highlighting shades, as well as that shadow that's already there. <coughs> and you can probably see it even better when we go onto the smaller figures, because the smaller figures will, you know, show it up a bit easier. Bridge of the nose. This lovely bit of forehead here that just crying out to be done On the top there underneath the eyes <clears throat> top of the cheekbones if you can see it Chin, top lip, and with these you can start seeing a lot of def definition a bit earlier because it's smaller, and you just start to see that the shape, which what you're painting starting to come out a bit better let's try just do a little bit there and because he's got an open shirt we'll whack a bit down there a bit on the old Adam's apple a bit there you won't be able to see that but a bit around the top here so you've got that like so let's bring a little bit more down here like that. just leaving the most minute bit of paint G.I. Joe's turn. I'm going to be bringing the bridge of the nose again. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you're here. I'm not actually painting for myself. I'm doing a video. So, show what you're doing, sir. Underneath the eyes, this is a bit more watery than I should have done. I'll bring that down a little bit. Onto the crease of the face. We can always go back out that one minute. That section there, because the light will hit it. A little bit in there. Like so. Good. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go a bit lighter this time, we're going to go back to that original one which I thought was a little bit too light, first of all. How are we doing for time? I'll have to cut this into a couple of chunks I think. Bridge of the nose, bring that down. Eyebrows, nostrils, that section of the eyes coming down there, like so, cheekbones, now you need to get over here. So, 
and the center of the chin. So, you see his face has changed considerably now, if you can't see that. Okay, cool. Now, you may have sussed out that I haven't done the eyes. Well, I think I'm going to touch the eyes in like a separate video, because the eyes are quite difficult to do. But I always maintain, if you've got a 135 figure face, that you can't see the eyes anyway, so... Or you're very difficult to see the eyes, and I would say to you, as beginners, don't forget this is just a tutorial to be for beginners, then I would say, you know, like... If you're not confident of doing eyes, because eyes could ruin, because you get those Popeye eye effect, then I would leave it alone. For the time being. And just do an outline of black for the eye. You see, I'm now doing a little bit smaller because he is a smaller face, you don't need to go all over. nostrils just do a dab of paint on there just to insinuate this or not insinuate oh, I'm not very good at these words today just bring it over like that and again that face is now it's got still shadow in there but it's got there we go back to that guy We're going to be doing a little bit because he's smaller. The smaller you go, the less you have to do when it comes to these highlight effects because now you're exaggerating the more point you put on. Okay, so. Let's bring that down there because the light's going to be shining on it. That's going to bring that light down like that too. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is do a final highlight because, like I say, I'm not going to go into it too deeply. I think I've done gone too deep already. Another splodge of this white stuff. You can make this the final highlight, I think, for this particular exercise. Get the paint out, dab it on there. Where's my man? There he is. Bridge of the nose again. See the paint once you got it to that stage starts to disappear really quickly once you painted it on because it's drying quick. Bridge of the nose, top lip, and you want to do that bit because it is that section there of his face. the eyes 
of the lower eyelid, sorry, the top of the lower eyelid, just to bring it out. So. Alright, cool. Okay, so we're going to be, that's going to be that for that. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to use that wash, like I showed you before. I'm going to use a very fine, thin wash, and I'm going to use the 75 scale scale colour Indian Shadow. And I'm going to bring my palette round here. I'm just going to do that. I'll show you what to do. It's a good, lovely, nice colour. And then what I'm going to do is start splashing it around. I'm just going to get the main colour, mix a bit of that together. So you've got that ready base colour. And I'm going to bring it down the shadow lines. So the shadow lines is underneath there. It's going to go in the inside of his nose. Like so. If it doesn't, if it looks too weak, then do a bit more. This side over here. Bring it down underneath the nose. Let's move this round here, like so, so you can see it. There you go. Like so. That's going to look better on the smaller faces, don't forget. Don't forget the bigger faces just showing you what actually I'm doing because you can't probably see it at close up because of this guy there. It's a very controlled wash. It's a pinky colour. Yeah. Oh. Like so. And it just brings out or unifies the paint a bit better. You know, like when you've got a tri colour, <coughs> excuse me, camouflage on the tank. And you use that wash, wash, and you tie everything together. Or if you're doing modulation or such, such and such like, it just brings that bit of unification to the whole face itself. See, and the joy with this is if you don't like it, then you come across with some more highlight and just highlight again where you don't think that you've done well enough or whatever let's go back with this face it's going to make it a bit darker in certain areas so let's put some over there see this is why I like this I've never had a paint that does that as well as that 75 particular one does so I quite enjoy using that, so let's make it a bit darker under there, where these noses. Let's put it into the recess of his face, underneath the chin, but underneath the lip itself, underneath the eyes. This wash down underneath there. So it just gives the impression of a bit darker, creases of the nose. Like so. So 
So you've got that impression now that it's a bit darker in the face. So I'll go back over to there. All right, cool. There we go. <clears throat> like I say, you can bring them out if you're not too happy with it. A bit more high light or low lighting or whatever. But there you go. This is, um, like I say, this is just a basic tutorial of how you can make figures without doing too much. I mean, that wasn't too much. You can simplify that list down let's go through it again quickly base coat you darken your shadow up and then dark, do a darker one you can skip all that and just go straight to the darker one and then we come across with the base coat again you just highlight the features and then you highlight that with your second base coat I mean I could go through this sort of, the, the, when I paint a face it takes me quite a while um, but if you're just like a say for example if you build tanks normally you want to put a figure in a tank but you don't feel confident enough to build or to paint a face even though you might be confident enough to build the uniform you know this, I hope this um, little tutorial um, helps you in some way shape or form uh, there you go well, so happy with it make a comment not happy with it still make a comment I don't care you can say what you like within reason of course so there we go, that's my little rendition of my little tutorial of how to basically paint a face for beginners. Alright, cheers then, I'll see you next time, bye bye.